Right, that's all I wanted to do. Turn my camera on. Look at this view. Look at it. Fantastic. Fantastic. Right. <laughs> Bird. Right, guys. Hello again. Sailor Moto here. Now, before I start, I know this video is going to be shit because I've just recorded this video. I've just spent about an hour, nice scenery and all that kind of shit, recording this friggin' video, only to find out that my GoPro had been fogged up. Now I know it's still probably fogged a little bit in the top corner because I can see it, but it doesn't seem too bad at the minute, so I'm just going to get it done while I can. Today I was planning on doing a bit of a video about my first service, only I fucking injured myself not too long ago and uh, haven't been able to ride my bike so haven't made it to the first service part yet <laughs> so I've changed this video to modifications <coughs> right um, so let's start with what I've already done to the bike the first thing that I did was at the dealers before I even got the bike and that was the exhaust I bought the Acropovic, I told the dealer that I wanted the Acropovic and I actually ended up getting this exhaust by accident. Um, I phoned up the dealer and I said I want the Acropovic exhaust and uh, they said okay we'll get that fitted on for you, we've got them in stock. And as far as I was aware, Agropovich only did the titanium one, that's the only one I've really seen on YouTube and all that kind of stuff. So that's what I expected. I expected to be about 700 quid, maybe a little bit more based on the price on the website. Um, but about a day later I got a, an email from the dealer saying um, we fitted the carbon one, the, me the mechanic fitted the carbon one by mistake. I was like, oh, okay. He says, I just want to send you a picture so that you can decide if you want the carbon one, because he says, personally, I like the carbon one better. So I was like, right, yeah, that's fine. And he sent me a picture, and I really liked it. I thought it went really well with the black of the bike, and I was uh, happy with it, so I said, yeah, I'll go for that one. It actually turned out to be just over 500 quid, so it turned out to be a lot cheaper. It looked like the Yoshimura one I was thinking of getting anyway, uh, which I actually preferred. The other thing I got the dealer to do was the indicators, the flashers, the turn signals, the blinkers, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to call them indicators. Um, and you can see them there, they're just a little silver bits here. And the reason I got these was for visibility. Because um, they act as daytime running lights. They're really bright, um, they work in all daytime, nighttime. Um, and I think they look really good. They look much better than the plasticky, shitty, fucking bulbous ones that you get. Um, so that's all I already got done from the dealer. So I got the bike home. And the next thing I really wanted to do was I wanted to protect this bike. I know I'm a beginner rider. I know the odds are that I'm going to drop it, either at high speed, low speed, any between. The odds are that I am going to drop this motherfucker. If I'm going to drop it, I want the damage to be as little as possible. So I went to one of my favourite companies, which is RNG, and I bought everything from RNG. Fuck paying fucking delivery for multiple companies when I can just get it all from one place, and that was RNG. So I bought the fork sliders and to protect the forks if I ever went down. Uh, they're just at the front, I don't know if you can see them. Um, they're quite good, easy to fit. Just a little bar through the wheel, tighten them up on each side. I also bought the radiator guard. I mean, I know how those aluminium fins, aluminium, 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 aluminium fins can be so fucking fragile and where they are, it's just It'd be stupid not to get a radiator guard, so I got the RNG radiator guard. I also got the aero frame sliders. Uh, I don't know if you can see them just down there. Yeah, so I got the sliders. 
um, so that if I ever came off I'd protect what little plastics this does have it pretty much protects everything they stick out quite a bit but they do fit with the bike so I was quite happy with that I did have some doubts of getting this type of slider um, because as you know if you crash at some sort of speed um, these can dig into the ground, flip the bike over and cause even more damage um, yeah so I was a bit wary of of getting those but I really disliked the Yamaha OEM ones they just get in the way they, I think they look shit the good thing about the Yamaha ones though is that they do protect the engine they protect the, the, the engine itself um, which these ones do not so I also bought the RNG again the RNG engine covers but unfortunately I had to send them back because um, the, the clutch lever got in the way and I was like I could dremel this out I could cut these to shape I could make them mine but I was like fuck it I'm paying a hundred pound for a set of fucking engine covers I want them to fit out of the box so moving further back the next thing I got from RNG was the crash bobbins for the rear wheel which also act as um, paddock stand bobbins um, I quite enjoy them, I, I think they're good, they work with the paddock stand um, obviously as they threw the wheel you can't really remove the wheel with the paddock stand but for just chain maintenance it's fine I don't really plan on removing the wheel myself anyway yeah so that's kind of it for what I have changed I do have some plans to change other things so what do I plan to change? Right, so what I want to change is the mirrors. I think I want to get some bar and mirrors, so um, something that can that I can see without fucking tucking my arm in. Um, these mirrors are just, they're, they're getting away. I mean, raising them would probably help, but fuck it, just get some new ones. Um, another thing I want to change is I want to put some heated grips on because my hands, even now, just going around town, they're fucking freezing. Maybe some hand guards. I've noticed that the new Moto Cage version of this colour uh, has the, the fluorescent yellow hand guards, which I think would look pretty awesome. Um, so I'm thinking of getting some of those if they're not too fucking expensive. Now I've had a little bit of a remix. Uh, another thing I'm thinking of changing is the seat. I haven't really found a seat for this that I think would be comfy. Even the Yamaha Comfort seat is um, uncomfy as shit. Uh, it's probably marginally better than this one, but uh, I think a new seat is in order maybe some kind of gel seat who knows maybe if I do get a new seat or I might just put a pillion cover on there or replace the rear seat for a cover and make the bike look a little bit sportier and as I said before when I had to send the RNG engine covers back I really really like the Yashimura Works Edition engine covers for this bike but fuck me are they expensive for two fucking bits of metal that have been machined in like five fucking minutes on a CNC machine or some shit it's like pfft, nah nah mate and that's all I really want to change for now Um, is it? Oh, maybe some new levers, some new uh, clutch and brake levers, some shorties, maybe some ASV adjustable levers instead of these big basic silver ones, put some nice black ones on or some, some shit like that. Oh, uh, right guys, I pulled over because my fucking GoPro keeps steaming up it's just been a little bit of a little bitch right 
all right guys uh, so that's it uh, thanks for watching um, sorry it's a bit of a shit video it was a last minute idea um, my camera kept giving me jib I promised that I did make a better one thank you for all your likes even the dislikes um, and the subscriptions it's it's kind of given me the impetus to, to push on and make more videos um, which I'm really enjoying doing but also guys you can follow me on Instagram uh, at Sailor Moto I'm quite active on there at the minute um, you see some pics of the bike and things and so yeah thanks guys uh, and I'll catch you guys there peace